In the previous video, we learned how to factor or were reminded how to factor when a was equal to 1. In this video, we are going to look at how to factor a quadratic when a is greater than 1. So what we are going to have is we are going to have still our standard form for a quadratic, y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, and after we take out the common factor, if there are any, and a is still greater than 1, we are going to have to do a few things extra than we did earlier. We are going to begin the problem the exact same way. The first thing we are always going to do is we are going to look for common factors. Once we get rid of our common factors, we just go ahead and we start filling in our x. So we start by doing a times c on top, that's step one. Step two, we put b on the bottom, and after that, we figure out our two values. The value that, the two values that multiply to a times c and add to b. So step one is still the same. We fill out our x. Once we fill out our x, what we do is we have to fill in our box instead. And we are going to begin by filling in this inside part of the box. So the first thing that we do, we fill in the middle square with ax squared. So straight from our equation, ax squared goes into this box. C is going to go into our little bottom corner. And then on the diagonal, what we fill in, we would just take value 1 and value 2, and we have to make sure that we do value 1 and value 2 times x, because these are the two things that are going to be, um, they make up bx. Value 1 plus value 2 is equal to b, and that is why they go here. So our whole quadratic here in the middle should simplify to ax squared plus bx plus c. After that, all we do is we go to these outside boxes. So in this box, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the GCF for these two values. And it's always going to be something x. In this top box, in column 1, you would find the GCF for these two values, which will also always be something x. And that's because these two that we filled in, something x and something x, multiplied together are supposed to be equal to ax squared. Then all we do, we just fill in the rest of the work. This row will be some sort of number, and it's going to be the number that is the GCF of these two values. Now, if value number 2 has a negative sign, then we put a negative with this number. Likewise, we go and we fill out our GCF for this column, these two values. Once again, it will be some sort of number, and the sign will be the same as the value closest to it. Then, once we are done, our first factor is going to be these two numbers, and our second factor is going to be these two. Okay? It'll make a lot more sense when we actually do an example. So we are going to create a box when we do all of these problems. So beginning with factoring 2x squared minus 9x plus 9. We know a is equal to 2, and we don't have any common factors because negative 9 and positive 9, we can't divide them by 2. So we start by filling in a times c. a times c in this case, 2 times 9 is 18 and b is negative 9. So we need to figure out which numbers multiply to negative or to positive 18 and then add to negative 9. And the two numbers that do this are negative 6 and negative 3. All right? The part of the box that we begin filling in first is this piece right here. This is going to be our quadratic. So here we have ax squared, so 2x squared. This other corner, we are going to have c, which is plus 9. And then on our mini diagonal, we take our two values. 
we are going to have negative 6x and then negative 3x. So if we look at what is in the middle right now, 2x squared minus 6x minus 3x plus 9, this will simplify to the quadratic that we started with. From here, all we do is we start figuring out our GCFs, our greatest common factors. Beginning in this box, we have the GCF of 2x squared and negative 6x. Both of them have an x. They also both have a 2. So that's our GCF for those two things. If we go down here in this next box, the GCF of negative 3x and positive 9. Our only factors for 9 are 3's, and 3 goes into negative 3. Because this is a negative 3, always put your GCF as negative 3. Your sign will be the same as the box closest to it when you're doing these ones. And then we go find the GCFs of the rows. So up here, we want the GCF of 2x squared and negative 3x. The thing they have in common is x. And once you fill this out, you can go through and you can check. You get 2x squared by multiplying 2x and x. That is equal to 2x squared. You get negative 3x by multiplying x and negative 3. So if you're ever caught up on one of these, if you know one of the GCF boxes, it's really easy to find the other GCF box. For example, if we are trying to fill this box right here, we know we want the GCF of negative 6x and positive 9. We know the GCF of the first row is 2x, so all we have to do is figure out 2x times what is equal to negative 6x. And the value that is, is negative 3. Okay, we can take a negative 3 out of negative 6x and out of 9. Then you can just go through. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9, and that works. Now, we're not quite done because we don't have our full factored form. Once we have our box filled out, we have this section and this section. Those are our two factors. So our factored form is 2x minus 3 times x minus 3. And that is our full factored form of 2x squared minus 9x plus 3. 9. We will do this next example together. We are factoring 3x squared plus x minus 4. So a is equal to 3, c is equal to negative 4, and b is equal to 1. Filling in our box, b is 1, a times c is negative 12. From here, we need to figure out the values that multiply to negative 12 and add to positive 1. And these are 4 and negative 3. After you fill in your x, it'll be helpful if you always just go ahead and double check your x. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. 4 plus negative 3 is 1. After we fill out the x, we go to our box. This first square, the middle square, we fill in first, and this is just ax squared, 3x squared. The bottom right corner is going to be c, which is minus 4. The other diagonal is the two values that we found in the x. It's positive 4, add the x, and then negative 3, add the x. You can always double check that these numbers here in the middle work and combine to create your quadratic. Then we just go ahead and find the GCFs. The GCF of 3x squared and 4x is just x. The GCF of negative 3x and negative 4 is going to be a negative 1. The reason why this is a negative 1 is because 3x is negative, so we keep the same sign. Moving up, the GCF of 3x squared and negative 3x is just 3x. And the GCF of positive 4x and negative 4 is a positive 4. If we would like, we can go back and double check our math. x times 3x is 3x squared. 
negative 1 times 3x is negative 3. Negative 1 times positive 4 is negative 4, and x times 4 is 4x. So our two factors, we have x minus 1 and 3x plus 4. So our final answer is 3x plus 4 times x minus 1. Take a few minutes for this problem and figure out what we should do first. We are factoring 4x cubed minus 10x squared minus 6x. The first thing you should realize is we have an x cubed. And every other term has an extra x. So we need to take out our common factor of x squared. You might also notice we have 4, 10, and 6 as a, b, and c. They are all even, which means we can also take out a 2. So before we begin, what we need to do is we need to take out our greatest common factor, which is 2x. So if we take 2x out, we are left with 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Once we have this, 2x squared minus 5x minus 3, we then have to go ahead and factor this portion. So to factor that portion, I want you to factor it on your own to begin. So please pause the video and factor 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. In this top part of our x, we should have 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6. And in the bottom part, we need b, which is negative 5. So we need two numbers that multiply to negative 6, but add to negative 5. And that is going to be a negative 6 and a positive 1. From here, we go and we fill out our box. We have 2x squared as ax squared. We have minus 3 as c. And then our other two values are negative 6x and positive x. It does not matter which one goes in which box. After this, we go ahead and find our GCFs. You should have 2x plus 1. You should have x. And you should have minus 3. So factor. That's a factor. So we'd have 2x plus 1 times 2, or not 2, it's just x, minus 3. Now, we are not done because we have to remember that at the very beginning, we took out a 2x. So we have to put that 2x back in. Then, now, we are officially done. So, 4x cubed minus 10x squared minus 6x factors to 2x times 2x plus 1, times x minus 3. This next one, we have to factor 21b squared plus 213b plus 30. So, ask yourself, what is the first thing that we need to do? Okay. 21 b squared is pretty large. So we want to go through and we want to get rid of a common factor. Now, we know that 21 is not going to go into 30. So we want to see, because those are the numbers that are easier than 213, what common factors 21 and 30 share. The easy one is 3. We know 3 goes into 21. We know 3 goes into 30. So we need to see, does 3 go into 3, 13, or 213? And it does. So we are going to remove a 3 from our quadratic. And we are left with 3 times 7b squared plus 71b plus 10. That is a simplified form of our quadratic. Now, the other difference with this one is we have b's instead of x's, and that's totally fine. From here, all we have to do is go ahead and factor 7b squared plus 71b plus 10. So what I want you to do is fill in your 
x. So pause the video and fill in your x. A is 7, C is 10, so 7 times 10 is 70. This is a 71. This is a nice, easy problem because our two values are going to be 70 and 1. Then we are going to go to our box. We are actually going to do the box now, so please pause the video while you fill in your box. 7B squared. 10, because we have to use our simplified version of our quadratic. And then we have plus 70B and plus B. We have to still make sure that we are using our appropriate variables. The GCF of 7B squared and 70B is 7B. So the GCF of 7B squared and B is just B. GCF of B and 10 is plus 1. And again, the GCF of 70B and 10 is just plus 10. So we have a factor of 7B plus 1, a factor of B plus 10, and we cannot forget the 3 that we took out at the beginning. So our full factored form for this is 3 times 7B plus 1 times B plus 10. And that is the box method that we are going to use in class when we are factoring a quadratic and A is greater than 1. So what you are to do now is you are to work on the practice worksheet that is factoring when A is greater than 1. So that completes factoring when A is greater than 1. Please work on the practice worksheet and then check your answers when you are finished.